So amides are the least reactive type of carboxylic acid derivatives. All the other ones are going to react more. Amides will hydrolyze, but under, under pretty strenuous conditions. So you need um, some sort of a catalyst, an acid, a base, or certain enzymes, and you probably need sustained heating. And so this is what we were envisioning when we were identifying what the parent acid and amine were for the amide. But this reaction is actually difficult to get to happen. So when you form an amide, it's going to stay formed. It's not going to revert to the carboxylic acid and the amine easily, but it can be done. But just like what we were doing previously, we, it, would, it would break here, and the hydroxyl group from the water goes on the carbon to make carboxylic acid, and um, the hydrogen from the water goes on to the nitrogen to make an amine. You'll get different products depending on whether you have acidic conditions or basic conditions. So under acidic conditions, hydrolyzing this, you're going to end up with carboxylic acid and the amine will get converted to an amine salt. Because what happens when we react an amine with an acid? Oh, be helpful to go to drawing mode before I start drawing. So R and H2, right, and there's that lone pair there, and here we have HCl. The amine is a base. So it's going to accept this hydrogen from the acid and it's going to form an amine salt. So the way I think of these is the hydrolysis, I'm cutting I'm cutting this amide into two pieces and then if this is an acid I have to think about what happens to an amine which is a base reacting with an acid. Well it's going to make an amine salt. If we do this under basic conditions again it's going to hydrolyze and cut here then we end up with a carboxylic acid and we've got a base here. What happens when you mix a carboxylic acid and a base? Well, you're going to get the carboxylic acid salt. And this time the amine will stay as an amine because the amine isn't a base, is a base. It's not going to react with a base. So we do need to keep straight if it's acidic conditions or basic conditions, what's going to happen. So predicting products. Draw structural formulas for the organic products of each of the following amide hydrolysis reactions. Be sure to take into account, hint, 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 whether the hydrolysis occurs under neutral, acidic, or basic conditions. So this first one. Here's our amide reacting with water, so we've got a hydrolysis. That's not what I wanted to do. And there's heat and sodium hydroxide. So we need heat and either an acid, a base, or an enzyme to catalyze this. So we've got the stuff we needed to need to catalyze. So that's going to break here. And this is how I would think of this. So I know that that's going to make a carboxylic acid. and an amine. So I would draw those like that first. And then I would look and see, oh, this is in basic solution. This is an acid. This is a base. The base isn't going to react with base, but the acid will react with the base. What is it going to do? Well, it's going to donate its proton. So it's going to lose its hydrogen and it's going to gain a negative charge. So that's going to make a salt. It has to have a cation with it, so it would be sodium. Does that make sense?
How about this next one? Yeah, it should be B, but it's C because of how the, the slides were. Well, we're going to cut it right here. CH3, C double bond O, get an OH there. And then this guy will be NH2, CH3. It says heat. It doesn't say acid or base. So then is anything going to happen to these products? No. You'll get the carboxylic acid and the amine. See, both of those are weak. So the amine is a weak base and the carboxylic acid is a weak acid. And so they're not necessarily going to really react with each other. So here's B and D. So I didn't want to squish all these on one page because there was, wasn't enough room. So an amide reacting with water, this is hydrolysis, is going to get cut into two pieces. So I'm going to draw the two pieces. Well, I'm going to try to draw the two pieces. Good grief. This will be OH. And then the rest of that is this guy, methylamine. Then I'm going to look at my conditions. This is under acidic conditions. So I've got, a, this is a strong acid. Strong acid with a weak acid, nothing's going to happen. Strong acid with a weak base, we're going to get a reaction. So this is going to become NH3 plus that's going to make a salt and then the, the anion will be Cl minus. That make sense? And then letter D. And we're going to cut them there. So we're going to get benzoic acid and ammonia and it doesn't say acid or base and so we'll just leave those as they are. Any questions?